fellas, I haven't waited since we left the field against St. Clair in the playoffs. To get back at it. I've been thinking about it since we were in the weight room. I've been thinking about it since we had pit seven on seven. I've been thinking about it through camp. I've been thinking about it during the scrimmages. And now it's here. And I want you to make the most of this moment. And I want you to play how you've been coached. And I want you to believe in one another. And I want you to fight for one another with everything that you have. And I want you to leave your heart on the field. Leave Partia on that field tonight. It is your field. You have experience. You're in shape. You have a great game plan. You're stronger than last year. You're faster than last year. Bottom line, like anything else, collectively, if you play together, 89 brothers, you're a better team. If you play together, you are a better football team. You got the energy out there. You got the fans in your corner. It is your moment. It is your time. We start on our field tonight. Playoffs is something where you, you know that if you lose, you're going to be done. So you play like there's no tomorrow pretty much, especially for the seniors, because if we lose, there's no more football for a lot of us. So. Well, I mean, we're going in as the number two seed, but everybody always talked about how it's going to, it was going to be Central and Gateway in the finals, everything that I saw. So I tried to use that as like fuel to the fire against Hemfield and Penn Hills just to show everybody that we are legit. Every team is 0-0, uh, zero, zero, no wins, no losses, and we only have one shot. You gotta win or else you're out. We were told just to take it one step at a time, and that's what we did. Like, we couldn't take Hemfield or Penn Hills, like, not seriously. We had to go at them like we would any other team. Before each play, if you can, if you can spare the time to just think real quick that 
every play could be your last. If you get hurt, then this could be your last game if, if we lose. You just have a whole different appreciation for each down that you're, you're about to play. After winning the Northern Five Conference, North Allegheny set their sights on the WPIAL playoffs. A year ago, they had made it to the semifinals. In the first round, the Tigers would be at home. Hempfield would make their first playoff appearance since 1997. They would try and do the unthinkable and knock off undefeated N.A. Un the first drive, Tino Pellarose trying to make something happen early, but his pass is batted up in the air, and Jackson Boyd is there for the pick. And then Jeff Greco gets things started. He darts around the right side and takes off for 40 yards. Then it's Zach Watts on the quick handoff. He takes it 16 more and bulls his way in for the first score of the night. In the second, Hemfield answers. R.J. Thomas gets into the end zone on his short run, and the game is tied at seven. At that point, the offensive line would take over the game. The Tigers would give the Spartans a good dose of their ground game. Carl Deshaunas and Jeff Greco would combine for 287 yards. Both would score two touchdowns on the night. Meanwhile, the defense would cause four turnovers and totally shut down Hemfield from making any comeback. North Allegheny wins going away 35 to seven. North Allegheny would take their unbeaten record to the quarterfinals. Penn Hills stood in their way and the Tigers were ready to take on the Indians. North Allegheny would get their first test. After a turnover, the defense would go to work. Four straight plays and Penn Hills gives the ball back to N.A. The Tigers go to what they do best. Zach Watts gets things going. He bursts up the middle for a 20-yard gain. Carl Deshaunas does the rest. The Tigers take the ball 61 yards on nine plays, all on the ground, and they take a 7-0 lead. Penn Hills threatened to score on the one-yard line. Ted Blakeman up the middle, the ball is loose. North Allegheny recovers the fumble and keeps the momentum. On the next series, the defense would cause another turnover. The Indians try a shovel pass, the ball is tipped like a pinball. Alex Calder comes up with the interception. That would lead to a Justin Facer field goal. His 28-yarder made it 10 to nothing. After that, Penn Hills would go on the attack. They drive the ball 72 yards and get into the end zone with a minute to play in the half. N.A. holds on to a 10-7 lead at the break. In the second half, momentum would start pointing to the Indians. Penn Hills marches down the field in the third quarter, but that's when the defense would turn it up a notch. David Walden looks in the end zone. Kyle Butson breaks up the pass with nice defense. Penn Hills going for the tying field goal. Just short, no good, and the Tigers hang on to a 10-7 lead. But now it's the offense's turn. Mike Locke looks downfield and floats one to Brian Austin with a fingertip catch. He hauls it in for a huge game. Then Locke looks to the other side. Curtis Bell Castro with a grab and a first down. Locke wasn't done. This time he hits Jeff Greco in stride and look at the block by Bell Castro. 30 yards later, it's another touchdown and NA is in command at 17-7. David Walden has nowhere to run. The defense ends all hopes of a Penn Hills comeback. North Allegheny moves on with a 24-7 win over Penn Hills.
WPIAL semifinals. North Allegheny was one step away from playing at Heinz Field. Standing in their way was Gateway. The Gators came in with a 10 and one record. This game was all about inches. First drive, North Allegheny moves the ball into the red zone, but they can't punch it in. The offense gets the ball right back, and this time they go to the long ball. Mike Locke airs it out and hits Brian Austin in stride. 75 yards later, he's in the end zone. North Allegheny strikes first, leading seven to nothing. In the second quarter, Gateway comes storming back. They mount a 97-yard drive, capped off by this run by Cameron Sadler. The game is tied at seven. The Tigers' offense was just getting warmed up. Watch this run by Carl Deshaunas. He blows through the hole and breaks a few tackles and goes on a 48-yard jaunt. On the next play, Deshaunas is at it again. He breaks it to the outside, races to the corner, and dives in for the touchdown. The Tigers back up 14 to seven. Right before the half, Gateway is looking to tie it up. They go to the halfback pass. Kyle Butson, though, is there for the interception, and North Allegheny keeps its seven-point lead going into halftime. In the third quarter, Gateway was pinned deep in their own end on the handoff. Gang tackle and Alex Calder rips the ball loose out of Corey Brown's hands. The Tigers have it at the 10 yard line. And on the first play of the fourth quarter, Mike Locke with the picture perfect throw. Jeff Greco is there for the grab. Touchdown, North Allegheny leads by 14. The Tigers are looking for the knockout punch. But Gateway comes up with the sack. They pick up some momentum. They march the ball 60 yards downfield. Leon Green gets into the end zone to cut the lead to 21-14 with six minutes to play. Gateway gets the ball back and it's an all out war. The game would come down to this play. Two minutes to go, fourth and nine on their own 36. Quarterback Rob Kallstein's pass it's down the field. Christian Totera times it perfectly and makes the great defensive play. Receiver Jordan Krause's reaction says it all. He pounds his fist in the ground, but hold everything. The Tigers get flagged for pass interference. A horrible call and the Gators have new life. Before the Tigers knew what hit them, Gateway was in the end zone and the score was tied at 21. So we go to overtime. Gateway gets the ball first. They take three plays to get into the end zone. And for the first time all night, the Gators took the lead 28-21. North Allegheny's turn. Ball at the 10, the Tigers have to score. Mike Locke goes for it on the first play, throws a strike to Jeff Greco for the touchdown, making it 28-27. Justin Facer lines up for the tying extra point, but Gateway gets called for having 12 men on the field. They get penalized half the distance to the goal line. That puts the ball on the one and a half yard line. So the Tigers decide to go for two and the victory. One play, the season is on the line. You know, you call the timeout and all the offense huddled up on the sidelines. And, you know, he, told, he was just talking to us about how he asked us first if we wanted to go for it, and we all, you know, we all wanted to. You know, we thought, you know, yard and a half, why not? Let's just go for it. So everyone was anxious. We knew we were going to go for it. This play we've been working on all, like the whole second half of the season, and basically it's just you put the biggest guys on the right side and just wedge through, and I go over top where I go behind them, and uh, you know, it was either you're going to get in, you're going to knock it in. You're going to win the game, you're going to go to Heinz Field, or you just you have to turn your pads in the next week. Jeff Greco takes the snap. He tries to go over the top. Does he get in?
The call is made. No, he's just inches short. And in the blink of an eye, North Allegheny's brilliant season comes to an end. Gateway wins in overtime, 28. Let it go, let it roll right off your shoulder, don't you know? The hardest part is over, let it in. Let your clarity define you in the end. We will only just remember how it feels. Our lives are made. Let your trust 